Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our first live stream rehearsal of 2023 with Birmingham Royal Ballet. We're in Studio One, and tonight we're bringing you um, a rehearsal of Swan Lake, and more specifically, the dance of the Signets from Act Two. Now, this quartet requires a huge amount of precision, teamwork, and technique to execute perfectly. And over the next half an hour, we're going to be exploring how to do just that. Um, it's hard to believe that Swan Lake is nearly 150 years old and is probably the world's most loved ballet. I think any good classical ballet company has a really good Swan Lake in its repertoire. And Birmingham Royal Ballet is no different. We're blessed to have a wonderful production created by our founding director laureate, Sir Peter Wright and Galina Samsova. So this spring, we're embarking on a huge UK tour and we kick off in Southampton on the 2nd of February and we finish in Edinburgh on the 1st of April. So throughout this tour, we're performing 38 shows across six different venues and we will be accompanied by the Royal Ballet Symphonia who will be performing Tchaikovsky's incredible score live. Um, so tickets are selling fast. So if you haven't already, please head to brb.org.uk for touring and ticketing information. So back to tonight, our four signets, we have the wonderful soloist Carla Dorbar, first artists Reina Fushigami and Rakeli Pizzillo, and our artist Sofia Linares. And I'm delighted to say that guiding our four signets through this evening is the vault of all knowledge and wisdom that is our former assistant director, Marion Tate. Marion. <laughs> Tom, what an introduction. What an introduction. <laughs> Live up to that. Oh, you will, you will, don't worry. Um, so, I mean, Swan Lake is, it is iconic. It is the world's most loved ballet. What makes Swan You've Lake... you said it all now. Well, but there, there's, there's room for you. Think, what makes it I so mean, special? I mean, it is astounding when you think after 100, nearly 150 years that this piece is still here and preserved so well. I mean, it has to be Tchaikovsky's score. Yeah, that agreed, really yeah. holds it all together. I mean, I'm a great lover of music, but I was thinking when I knew we got to do this, I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall when Tchaikovsky was writing it. And he must have thought, mm, we've been a bit serious for a bit long. Maybe I could do a little comedy number here. And, you know, the audience have sat through this long, wonderful, tender, passionate, tragic pas de deux. And then... If they're just dozing off a little bit, <laughs> they get Not nine, that you will. 90 seconds of, well, energy that really, you know, just comes at the right point. But 90 seconds. 90 seconds, but a hard... Or less, if I have my way. Yes, well, but a hard 90 seconds or, or nonetheless. What, what makes, what goes into Signets to make it so precise and so accurate? Signets, I mean... It's extraordinary because, you know, if you were to ask the man in the street and they'd think about, oh, I don't know anything about ballet, but if, if they were to describe what they thought about ballet, they'd probably go, oh, everybody knows this dance. And I think it's lasted because, I mean, I am no aficionado, believe me, because someone will question me later on all the different versions, but it looks as though nobody over all those years has tinkered with it, that Signet's dance. Sure, that's true. It is basic, basic choreography. The youngest kids just going on point will know changement, échappé second. There's steps that they can follow. The silver swans do it. Everybody does it, you know. And, and because it's so simple, it has to be done so perfectly, so accurately. So I would say so musically, but I wouldn't go as far as to say musically. I would say mathematically, because whereas it's nice to ask dancers to feel the music, there's no room for that in signets. It has to be absolutely metallic, as I say. Yeah. No cotton wool, metallic. So That's quite daunting. Sorry, I'm very dry in the mouth. That's no, fine. <laughs> okay. You kind of touched on it a little bit there, but I said, what are the main ingredients that go into a good performance of, of this quartet? Well, obviously them being together, their teamwork. Mm -hmm. it, it's amazing when you see a team of signets, how they work together in the rehearsals and in the wings before going on, you know. Um, also choosing the place they like, if some have done it in the previous season and they've always led it or been the follower or a middle person, it's very different whichever position really? you're in. And we try, if we've got, BRB are lucky that we still have small signets. Sure. Many, many companies, and this has been for about 20 years, the height of signets has gone up. Would you believe I've never done a signet? Really? I tell you why. Well, 
at the Royal Ballet School, I learned signets okay. in the 60s. And I was shouted at because <laughs> my knees were so turned in, they kept hitting everybody. <laughs> we won't have any shouting so, tonight, girls. So, Don't worry, you you're know, fine. It, it gives you hope for the future, people. You know, I've had quite a good career. And yet, <laughs> You've done all right. I never did a signet. When I joined the company, I was number one swan because the signets didn't do the first entries. But anyway, I digress. What was the question? I was going to say, so, what are the main ingredients into going to, into signets? What makes it a successful performance? But you've well, kind of touched on that. It, so. it is this, yeah. you know, autonomy, the, the, you know, synchronicity. You know, it's just. Yeah. It's and the speed. I love it when, because they don't know how fast it's going to be. It is a live performance. Yeah. So depending on the conductor, their hearts sink if it goes bum, 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 bum. <laughs> when it goes bum, 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 I go, mm. are they going to keep up with it at the end? But actually, it puts them into a different gear, and I love it. Okay. So 90 seconds or below, I think it should be total. It's amazing how much effort and thought goes into this. Right, let's get on with some rehearsing. Um, so if you like what you see, please comment and chat and um, ask questions. We're going to leave some time at the end of this rehearsal for your questions for Marion and for our wonderful dancers. So Marion, let's take it away. OK. Hello, girls. I think I really you've had such a day and it's the end of the day. Let's just do it and then I'll talk about it. So starting from the wings so i see how you walk on getting past the sideline of swans taking your positions and i won't stop you i promise okay i'll try and keep out of the way should i just stay center tom yeah okay There's a repeat there. Okay, stop, 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 stop. There should be a repeat in the music. Should there not? Am I imagining it? Hmm? There was a, there was, we're missing a repeat. Oh, I'm so sorry. It was so good. So while we've stopped, shall we talk? And then we won't pick it up at the beginning. Okay. We need to sort these heads for the circles. Raquel, you throw your head too far back to start with. And then as it went on, we gradually got a little bit out of sync. When we talk about different versions, this part, the heads, is the only thing that's different in all the versions. And it was, bless her, Galena, who put her stamp on this by doing what I call the advanced version, because when I learned it, it was with head to the side, yeah, which is so much easier. This is like going, because you're having to round your head. So what are you planning on doing? You've got six counts, haven't you, before the jeté. So one, just with your heads. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's take it apart for the six counts, although it's got to be smooth. So you're looking side on the one, and where's one? One, two, three, four, five. I like what Carla's doing. So you're starting there. You're starting on one. You're going two. You're going diagonal three, four. You're down on five, six. So we've got to think of it as a circle, even though it's like a clock. Okay. So just with counts and one, two, three. Four, five, six. So we need to speed up five, six, so we're ready to jeté out of it. It's probably easier, actually, when you do your feet, is it? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. And Sophia, 
Try to keep your head absolutely straight. You're tilting it a little bit as you go back. It sounds really picky, but it's amazing how it shows. So if I just go five, six, seven, eight, and we'll go into it. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. So too fast to be a five, six, and a seven, and eight. One, and two, and three, and four, and good. One, six, and a seven, and eight. One, and two, and too fast. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Second one was brilliant. We'll stick to that one, but you were just a little bit too fast for the second one. I've got another, you're new in this, aren't you? Okay, it, it, it does show a little bit. You did travel. I'd like you to travel more because this can be boring if it's on the spot. You did travel, but I think we could be more. Yeah, yeah. So if you're imagining the girls, try to get more near the front girl by the end of that before you're on to show. On to show, passe, passe front, close back. Yeah, you're taking it to the back as you releve. I think rest, you were fine, girls. This was the one I saw. And you got a little bit behind. It may have been because of that. You got a little bit behind Carla on it. Yeah, 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 I'm front, front, yeah. So I think because you're thinking of it going to the back, I want you to think of stopping there and then just closing fifth. Don't think how it gets there. That's it. That will be just as quick. So don't think how it gets there. Go front and then put it down. Jump, bump, bump, jump, bump, bump. Okay. I have to say, recording, this is a very good speed. But anyway, don't you think? It's about as fast as you can do it, but it's good. Um, yeah, so we will travel that a bit more. Then I got a bit put off because I realised we were on the wrong music. Can I just see the next step? The chassis up? And I'll give you five, six, seven. So we've moved back. Five, six, seven, eight. Down, up. And down, up, 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 up. Very good. Da, ba, dee, da, ba. Okay, can you tell me, are you doing dee, da, ba, or dee, da, ba? Okay, syncopated. Good, good. So we get that little hold. Yeah. So five and six and seven hold. And, okay. Uh, Lish, how are we doing with the music? Getting there. Okay, I'll just carry on like this. Okay. okay. So, should we do the next step? So, we've come down here. Then you've got to make that steep diagonal, Raina, haven't you? Five and six and seven and eight and one and two and bum 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 bum. <coughs> okay, stop. Okay. I just think. Bum, 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 bum. This could be sharper. Get it to the... F yes. Rather than a transitory thing, it's a position, position. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm sorry to aim this at Sophia, but you guys have done it. So, well, Raquel, not so much, but you know. You know. It's good that she's with a good team, though. Just once more. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and ta ta. And good da 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 ta ta. And da 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 da. Da da da. One, two, three. Good. Okay, save yourself, save yourself. <coughs> so we're on the diagonal. Try and keep that back knee out, Raina. I know you're thinking of it. I'm going to need that mug of water. Sorry. Oh. <coughs> What have you planned for the knees? Right knee, but oh, that's why it doesn't help you, because you're doing that and it's not good for your left one. Well, you start diagonal, but you have to only get onto the flat by the last set. So think of diagonal, which will help Rayner. Just walk it. So we've gone up to the corner and let's count how many we're doing diagonal. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, come. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was on the three of the second eight, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, I think that, mm -hmm. does that feel about right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. And then where are heads as you extend attitude? Seven, eight. And then immediately to the corner and up, 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 up. Okay. Good. That's really good, girls. Yeah. If it does, if it does get really fast, and this is this is fairly fast, don't think about jumping too much on the um, part of shards. Think of the percussive landing and the action of picking up that second foot. Yeah. I mean, you have to go into emergency mode if the conduct if you've got a new conductor who's nervous <laughs> and suddenly, you know. But keep it small, keep it percussive. Yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Right. Heads for the next one. This is always a difficult one. Five, six, seven, eight. Yum, bum, 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 bum. Sophia's got a good head. Okay. <laughs> but it's coming back a little past center. That's the difficult thing because it's over straight, over straight, over straight. Oh. So when I was young, I couldn't get my knees out. Now I'm old, I can't use my neck. <laughs> so let's just see from that side. Because the dreadful thing is we're going to have to do it, aren't we, after this because of the music, if we can find it. Or maybe not. Five, six, seven, eight. And dum bum 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 and dum bum 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 and bum bum ah ba ba. Okay, let me just check your heads. Spacing. You're a little far in. You're a little far out. Okay, let's just see the separation. You got this. It's really good. I've got nothing to say, have I? So just see the separation, how far, will you have marks? You'll have marks, won't you? Yeah. Do you? Do you use them or do you just feel? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we've come forward, and five and six and seven, eight, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and yum, bum, bum. Yeah, and we don't want a big gap in the middle. We want it absolutely even. Mm -hmm. So you might be a little bit too far out, Sphere. Anyway. <laughs> When we do it, we'll feel that natural. And then have you done rehearsed your bows? You stay on that leg. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I think it's nice, you know, to let the arms go back a bit. Yeah, be a little bit more. Uh, don't move the bottom arm too far out, or else you look like the Swan Queen. And you're not there yet. <laughs> it's a little. That's it, Raina. Yeah. And then as you go off, do you just change arms, go through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. So, Lish. Oh, I've got a thumbs up from the music. Okay. Have a breather. What are we doing for time? So sorry. Are you all right to do it once more? <laughs> A dancer never says no, do they? Let's see it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Mark it if your calves are bad. Good girls. Thank you. 
Good girls. Leave the applause on. <laughs> Good girls. Okay. Yeah. Raquel, are you doing? Are you calf sore? No, Sorry, no, no. Um, you're doing a bit too much with your arms for the last PK. Oh. You're slightly different to the other. What are you doing, Raina, with your arms? Just yeah, it just stayed up there for two. Maybe they were too high. It's more of a go through the first round it and go, just gather it up and go. Yeah, I'm glad you did it again because your back foot is very slow. It almost goes out in. On the ch ch so I think it's a good thing to think rather than the timing of landing, it's pick, 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 pick. Think of the other foot. Up, 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 up. Uh, you will land whatever. <laughs> but I think of the action of the foot that will that will make it look neater for you, Rekha. The heads were still a bit, you know, but you know. <sighs> And also, can I just check, when you do entrechat look, this is a full turn, isn't it? Yeah. So these are uh, diagonals. That's a full turn. Yeah. So when you get to entrechat échappé, they're real full turns of the head. I can't, as I say, I can't demonstrate. because <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was good. That was good coming forwards. And your left foot, Sophia, on this step as you... Tombe going up to the corner. It was loose. Yeah, uh, you'll pull everyone over if you go that far. But it is under yourself, but it suddenly had a moment where your foot flexed and didn't really point. Yeah, yeah. Do you always like to be on that place? No, I was doing that. <laughs> I thought I, I've seen you at both ends, yeah, I've done that and I've always thought it must be hell to be that yeah. front one. Do you feel they're coming with you? They're dragging you. Take control of yourselves. <laughs> Listen to Captain Carla. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm just wondering. I think Raina, that knee, it'll help if you keep that left shoulder back. In that, that's better. Yeah. Yeah. It may just be the shoulder that you need to think of just to keep that line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Marion, that's about all we've got time for. So, Thank um, goodness for that. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies, if you want to come in, I'm just going to read some of the lovely comments that we've had. Um, yeah, we've had Gemma Andrews, pretty amazing, hey. Stella Stokes says, amazing. Susan Lennon says, wow, so good to see this. Clive Booth, such a privilege to witness this rehearsal. Thank you, BRB. Does anyone say anything bad on these things? Well, that's not for me to read out, though, is okay. it? So, <laughs> Rowena Gillard, wonderful to watch. Can't wait to see the full production next month. Always amazing to watch artists and their coaches. So, some lovely, lovely feedback. Um, Carla, I just had a very quick question for you. You said you've done every single place in this. Is that right? So, how... And that's the one you want. Yeah. <laughs> so, Rowena's, Rowena's stolen your part. I mean, you. we talked a little bit about sort of metallic and unison. What are the differences between each individual part in, in this film? Um, I think if you're on the ends, I feel a bit more free. In the, yeah, in the I'm middle, sure. I feel very stuck. Claustrophobic. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, this end, this side, you're kind of dragging, but then, and I feel a bit exposed on the part of shots as well. <laughs> um, yeah. So ladies in the middle, would you sort of echo that sentiment? Does that sound about right? Or would you prefer to be on the ends? I mean, sometimes in the middle it feels like you're like whacking each other. Like it feels a bit like a fight. It does feel a bit claustrophobic. Yeah. Right, okay. There's no room for error. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise you hit each other. Yeah, yeah. sure. But you're all, you're all friends, so you all forgive each other. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, thank you very much. That is all we have time for. Thank you for watching. As I say, we are on tour this spring. Please head to brb.org.uk for all ticketing information. And uh, once again, thank you for your time, and we will see you in a theatre soon. Thank you, ladies. Let's go for small.